New at 11. Uh, first for one Central Coast high school, a teenager who is making history by becoming the first girl to take the field in a St. Francis High School football game. Watsonville Catholic Church is gearing up for its season and welcoming their new recruit. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen is live in our newsroom with the story. Well, Aaron, this teen history maker is Alyssa Soto. She's 15 years old. She has a big will to win and make this year's list of starters. Our first girl in St. Francis history. We're excited to have her aboard. It just caught my attention this year that why not give it a go and try it? Yeah, why not? Alyssa Soto was a three sport athlete last year, so why wouldn't she take on another challenge? And all the boys. Playing with the boys, especially uh, tackle football, it's going to be a new experience because they're bigger and some of them are faster. But head football coach Adam Hazel says Soto's football IQ is off the charts. She's an extremely good athlete, and she's very has a lot of football savvy, so she's always in the right place. Soto grew up around the game, learning from her dad and brother, Dad Oscar, here on the sidelines of most practices. When I see her out there, you know, jarring around with the boys, I kind of pull her to the side. Well, maybe you should try this next time. I know it's my daughter, but I try to see the football player. And, and I know how she is personally, and so when she does put that helmet on, I see the person that, uh, the strong-willed kid that she is. At eight, she started playing flag football. Now, seven years later, she's suiting up as a sophomore for her first high school season. I feel, like, really excited, really proud that I've came to a new level and I've accomplished something. And it's going to be a new step in life. For me. Her teammates learned she was on the roster during the off season. We really haven't taken it differently. Uh, Alyssa's been really great. We've talked to our team. We talked to them ahead of time in the spring about, you know, she's on board with this. Let's be leaders. Let's be not just accepting, but let's encourage her. It's nothing really new. She's, uh, she's definitely energetic, so that's good for us. She brings the team up and encourages us to work harder, and that's better for us as a team. It's still bound to be a mentality change for many. That she's a girl and that you could actually be physical with her and all that, because outside of football and all that, you know, you, you brought up to respect girls and your elders and all that, so it's just getting used to getting hands and treating her like another guy. And that's exactly how Soto wants to be treated. They teach me like they do the boys. They treat me the same. And that's what I want. I want to be treated the same just like them because I'm not any different. And she wishes that more girls would play if the girls want to play. She says she hopes they wouldn't be intimidated by the boys or their size. She hopes that if girls have the want to play, that they'll do it. Erin. All right. Thank you, Brittany. Uh, the first game for the St. Francis Sharks is September 6th at home against the Greenfield Bruins.